control control do you guys struggle with control you guys probably struggle with control because you try to control the ball and your racket too much guys my favorite quote in tennis and i use this with all of my students is in tennis to gain control you have to give up control you want to let the racket work for you you don't want to work for the racket if you guys hold that racket too tight and just try to get that ball in nine times out of ten you guys are going to be hitting the ball out again you guys need to let the racket work for you get in the proper position and let it go don't squeeze too hard don't try to keep the ball in muscling it it's not going to work and if it does work when you get to a higher level it's not going to work your opponents are going to be able to hit through you okay so when you guys are hitting just be loose be loose with that racket and just let the racket go if you guys don't already do this it's going to feel really weird when you hit right if you guys are loose and you don't already be are on court and being loose again it's going to feel really weird but what's going to happen is your ball is just going to be so much better while you hit because you're letting the racket do the work every single time so we're going to do four more four backhands here we are three more two oh. One, and some forehands. Okay, so I gotta control it. I gotta let the racket go more. Get, I have to get my body in position though, right? And that's the next point I wanna make. You do have to hold the racket loose, but you need to get in the right position. If you're not in the right position and you hold that racket loose, the ball is still going to spray, right? So I'm going to use my feet, right? I'm gonna get control in my body, in my positioning and in my feet. And then when I get to the ball, I'm going to keep that racket loose. Same thing for the backhand, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna move the ball, establish control with my legs and then let the racket fly. Thank you, work so hard to get into that proper position. And then once you get in the proper position, just let it go. Again, where players go wrong is that they try to get in the proper position and they hold it super tight. And again, it's not going to work. And if it does work, it's only going to work for your level and you're going to get pains in your arms and your elbows. So really work hard to make sure you stay in position. Again, I am a control freak myself, but what happens is my brain is programmed through years of training that if I really, if I'm in a stressful match, if I'm in a tight situation, I go, okay, I need more control. That means I move even faster on my feet. That means I get more on my toes. That means I get more into my legs while I hit so I can establish that control. So we're gonna do a couple more forehands, backhands. I'm really going to try to gain control of my shots. And how am I going to do that again? Not by my arm, not by muscling the ball, but by my body, right? So I'm gonna be on my toes, good intensity. My legs are down. I'm dropping a, a foot in my height. I'm six foot, now I'm gonna be five. I'm on the toes and I'm gonna be really intense and try to stay down in my legs. That is how you gain control every single time you hit, okay? So I need to swing more up there, get in position, let it go. A couple more. Okay, so I have to stay down. I pop my body up there. Three more, stay down with the body. Two more, move, stay down with the body. And one more, okay. Good, a little bit out, still good, right? So next time you guys go out on court and you guys wanna get more control in your shots, again, don't get control in your muscles, in your arms, get control in your legs and positioning and you guys will be able to hit better shots. Guys, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one and happy hitting.